it's Friday afternoon, We're heading into the weekend, and Elijah and I are going to start it off by doing a little hog hunting. Uh, uh, I got Gatorade. Stop by the store real quick, got a Gatorade, a little bit of Cheetos, that's his favorite snack. Hopefully we'll go out and get a hog or two, we'll see. Uh, if we don't get one tonight, I'll be trying tomorrow evening as well. So off we go. So we're set up in the stand and we're just waiting. The feeder went off about, oh, there's a turkey. There's a turkey right there. So we've been out here for about two and a half hours. Elisha's done really good sitting with me. Thank God for smartphones and headphones. Um, we did see some turkeys, which are super cool. I filmed them and watched them for like an hour or so. They finally headed off. It's 7.45, sunset's at 8.30, so we've got like 45 minutes left of daylight. We're gonna hang tight for about another 30, 35 minutes. It's way past Elijah's bedtime, so. It's been a beautiful evening. A lot of mosquitoes. Just waiting on that big old hog to come in. Well, that was a fun evening. No pigs, of course. I have this theory. During turkey season, you don't see turkeys. You see deer and hogs. During the summertime for hogs, you see turkeys and deer. That's what you see. During deer season, you see hogs and turkeys. Whatever the season is, you don't see them. Hopefully I can come back tomorrow and see if we can actually get one. Uh, I was hopeful for tonight. Usually hogs and corn feeder, man, they'll show up pretty regularly, but not tonight. So, but I got a lot of cool video of this turkeys and some other wildlife. So that was, that was worth it and spending time with Elijah. So he did pretty good. That was a long sit, about two and a half hours. Actually, maybe close to three, but he did really, really good. That's it for this evening, so we'll catch you next time. All right, round two. I'm on my way up to the stand. 
EJ's not with me today. He stayed at home because we stayed out late last night and he was cranky to say the least. So it's about six o'clock. I'm getting out here a little bit later because I don't think that they're gonna come out till later anyway. The landowner sent me a, we left at like 8.15 last night. Landowner sent me a, a text message with a trail cam of a hog out here at like 8.40. So 20, 30 minutes later, a hog came out. This is brutal. I'm so spoiled. Usually I don't have to wait very long for hogs to show up, but for whatever reason, these like to show up right at nighttime. So I don't like to come here right at nighttime. I like to slip in. I already spooked off a deer and a couple turkeys, probably the same turkeys from yesterday, but I'm hopeful that they'll just come a little early, mainly because I'm an old man and I want to go to bed early, but I'm getting numb butt. My butt's getting numb from sitting so long. But let's be patient and positive. And hopefully, one will just show right up. Hopefully it catches the audio this time, but I was saying it's so dark out here. But you know, like when you're in the middle of a forest and it starts getting dark, it's like darker, way darker in the forest earlier than it is out in the open. So it's just kind of, this is the latest I've ever hunted. So it's kind of got me wigged out a little bit. Try not to be afraid. Trying to wait for this big old boar hog to come out so I can get him. But I tell you what, I haven't been skunked by hogs too many times in my short hunting career. There's a bunch of interesting sounds out here. Some kind of scary, some kind of normal. 8.25, sunsets at like 8.27. That hog came out at like 8.45 last night. So I'm gonna stick around another 15 to 20 minutes and hopefully that joker will come out and pop him, pop him. And then I don't know what I'll do because it's gonna be pitch black. Right at dusk. I cannot believe that. Dropped him. Got him, baby. Holy cow. I sat like six hours for this pig. That was insane. Holy cow. 
<laughs> it, that's the thing about hunting. It happens so fast every time. I'm like shaking a little bit because I've just, I've just been sitting. So it's, it is like right at dark. I mean, I almost don't want to go out there because there's so many mosquitoes, but oh man, what a rush. I got one. What a rush. That was a nice size boar too. I aimed right for his head. I when it's when it's dark like this, when it's dark like this, I don't want to go chasing him through the woods. I've done that before. I was looking for like a heart lung shot, and I still did really good on the shot, but I had to go track him for a while. I did not want to truck track this sucker, so I'm gonna get down there, take a look at him, kind of go from there. So, so just walked up to him. I don't even know how much you can see. He's uh, still alive, so. So I got to put one more in him real quick. Put him out of his misery, I think. He's down here flailing around, so. <sighs> Let's see. That was kind of brutal. So I don't have an uh, outro or an exit for that hog hunt, but uh, Elijah and I just got done going fishing. So anyway, that hog was a, uh, it was a good hunt. It happened all pretty quick right at the end of the, that second night. So I ended up taking it and um, I tried to do a Euro mount with it, but with that second shot to put it down, down, um, I did a little damage. So. Here's actually the the skull afterwards, and uh, I pretty much obliterated the whole left side of that hog. Obviously, that's the intact side, so you can see what. Whoa. Well, I just finished off part of that skull too, I guess. Yeah. I'll fix it later. Nothing a little bit of super glue or JB Weld won't fix. So uh, anyway, it was a good hunt. I'm super pumped. I was pumped about that one and I appreciate you watching. If you like the video, please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.